So we are just doing a last minute cleaning because Ryan and I are going on a little trip. We're gonna do some adventuring, stop at a couple of people's places and uh, you'll be catching on to some of these videos. So stay tuned. You're so good at that bone. Cleaning is not glamorous. Alright, so we are taking our trip and about to roll over a hundred thousand miles in my car, so uh, here we go. Hundred thousand miles, you guys are on the road trip with us. Hundred thousand miles driving. Car's driving itself. Just totally kidding. Worth it. Totally worth it. You guys are on the trip with us. Made a hundred thousand miles. We're going down this is where I live in cornfields. <laughs> hey guys, we're at the Reptile Expo here, it's Repticon, and it's down here in Columbia, South Carolina. It's one of our stops, so just uh, join us for the walk around the show. Hopefully we'll see some really cool animals. Real quick, get out of there! Get out of there! Come on, guys. I love how this came into more of a watercolor looking snake, but when you get the yeah. hypo there, it just changes that wash and it's, just, it's like, wow. Yeah, 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 for sure. So. What's your name? Chris Gay from Slow Country Balls. Yeah, and you got some pretty cool hypo stuff. Thank you. Leopard Gene has been really doing well uh, out there and this is just a beautiful leopard clown. Hypo. But it's hypo too. So it's that little bit of an ad there to wash it all out. It's real cool. Thanks, man. Have a good one. All right, guys, we're here with... Tony Thomas. Tony Thomas. <laughs> From? From? Hardwired Exotics. And what do we got here? So, these fine young gentlemen here stopped by the table and wanted to check something out, so uh, kind of caught them off guard. So we have a fire, yellow belly, aurora female. And it is stunning. You know how much we love Arroyo stuff. <laughs> they wanted to get it out and catch it on film, so of course we uh, we helped them out on that. So. It's so, beautiful, man. So what are you doing with the Arroyo project? Uh, first year with it, or uh, first year we're actually producing animals from it. Uh, we put it in the Cypress, which I think we're the first ones to ever do that. Um, we can, actually one right up yeah, here. Yeah, there's one right in here, so you catch that in a second. But. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do. I knew I wanted to put fire into it. Just so happened the fire combo that I used had cypress. So that's what we ended up with. We made uh, three different cypress aurora combos and um, they turned out nice. This particular girl here just to be, uh, just happens to be a, a fine example of the, of the mutation in my opinion. It is great. So, um, but I think this year, of course I work a lot of blackhead. I think that's the route that I'm going to take with it this year. I'm interested to see that, actually. Yeah, I like to stack up dark jeans. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be cool. We'll see. Maybe, uh, I think we have uh, two different females that we can use uh, sparingly on uh, Black It, and I think that's the route awesome. that I'll probably take. Cool, man. Well, thanks. I appreciate Absolutely, it. Absolutely, man. Take awesome. care. Super window granite calico. I don't even know what what is what point out what window uh, does. Well I'm pretty dumb in this. Yeah, it's not that. It's uh it's 
really subtle as a uh, as a single gene. This is a Blitz Calico window. Okay. The window is, you see the really high blushing? Yeah. That comes through. So that's Blitz Calico window, and then this is just Blitz window. Just super dirty speckling. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's a super version. That's interesting. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Thanks. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, man. This is a snake we just bought for a friend of ours. We should have stolen it from him, and it's in shed. Look how amazing it looks. We should have bought it. Look how orange that nose is. No, we chatted about that in Charlotte. snakes. I'm sure you guys see them around social media. They have a lot of really cool animals. Um, so tell us like who you are and what you're working with. Uh, my name is Grant. Uh, we do mostly ball pythons uh, and uh, some wamas, uh, but primarily specialize in ball pythons. Uh, one of the things that we are excited to work with uh, recently is the paint project. Um, this is not a visual, this is a head paint. This is a pastel yellow belly calico head paint. A lot of you probably have seen the calico yellow belly visual paint on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, that thing came out spectacular. Didn't think it was going to be that nice, but... Yeah. The paint gene is pretty interesting. A lot of people go back and forth about, you know, is it an in incomplete uh, dominant or incomplete codom, um, or is it recessive, or is it you know what? So um, I think a lot of people are really settling in that it's recessive, and uh, a het, it's like a slightly visual het, so you can tell, but it's not really it doesn't show through until you get the super form or the re fully visual recessive. So it's really cool what they're working with, and uh, so like like anything like. To me, some of the pet clowns are expressive. Mm -hmm. Well, when you put yellow belly in the, the paint, uh, the heads become expressive. So yeah. this is a pastel calico lacking the yellow belly, but this is also 100% head for paint. So a pastel calico shouldn't have, I mean, this is a really, really high white, but even the blushing up top and this blushing over the hair, sorry, is like, oh. it's, it's, a pastel calico shouldn't look like that by itself, so you can definitely tell that there's something else going on, so it's really cool to see that uh, the yeah. paint is working with that. So, so, we missed on the pastel calico yellow belly, hopefully yeah. this year. I think the pastel is going to really amp up the colors on that thing. Yeah. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, so this is something that Limey pushes with his stuff, and uh, <laughs> he... He uh, is around, but we uh, can't usually catch him on camera because he's really fast. 
He's so. like Bigfoot. He's like you know he's you know he exists. But he <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't, can't ever catch him on Woo. film. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys would have seen that. We, <laughs> anyway. All right. So thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it, Grant, and uh, we'll be putting the video out. So. So you could see anything you you know at these reptile shows. Yes. Who knows? But. Am I allowed to pet and... No, we don't need to touch him. I'm sorry. All right. No, you're good. That's really cool, though. It's fun to see. There's always uh, something interesting. Nice and what's your name? My name's Eric. Eric, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice Call to meet you, too. Man. The monkey man. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. They're yeah. fun. Yeah, we have six capuchins. The one six. marmoset. Oh, yeah? yeah. Marmoset? Yeah. Capuchins are really cool. They're super, super smart. They are. Really, oh, really great are. animals. Uh, yeah. Definitely not a lot. Uh, she's a drag race. Animal, we drag race, and she's oh. always at the drag strip. So we was there last night till 11 o'clock watching JJ the boss. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you for letting us uh, take a minute with you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All. That's what happens. This is a Reptile Chip Cat. She's ten dollars. A special treat down here at the Repticon, and uh, this is our friend Dominic. He's with uh, our well, these are Jay Gonzalez reptiles, so these are snakes on Jay Gonzalez reptiles. This is a pied Burmese python. I'm excited. I am, and these are really cool. So, these are awesome. There's not a lot of them in the United States for sure. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful animal. You can see just this unbelievable white just breaking up the pattern there. And these are Burmese pythons, so they get pretty big. And uh, these are just babies. These things are really, really cool. Dominic was super nice to let me hold one, and he has another one, an albino pied here. That's just insane. So, uh, are you gonna let me hold that I'm one too? Yeah. Hold that there. Okay. I'm gonna there. pull this one out as well. Oh man. Look at that. This is just. Unbelievable, when when do you get to see these ever, you know? And uh, Dominic's super nice, he lets us uh, put it in our hands here. These things are so cool. This one's gonna poop, I think, so it's gonna be great. But... <laughs> that's awesome. That's not happening. Yeah, these are amazing. I mean, we don't really ever talk about getting into Burmese pythons, but this is really makes you consider because it's a big investment getting into Burmese pythons any of the really large snakes so you got to really plan out what you're going to do you got to plan out the space you got to plan out the food the bills it's not just like a, hey let me go pick one up you know so this is a good um, animal for a, a pet and it would be just really fun but as you would say with any animal you're gonna purchase it. yes and definitely Right, yeah, you have to do that with any animal, I agree. But uh, some of them, it's, it's a little bit more next, planning. It's the next step. Yeah, it's the next, it's step it's the next level. Python. Yeah, so it's not like a, a little tank like this um, for very long. These guys actually grow really, really fast. Um, but just beautiful animals, man. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So we'll uh, give these back. And so he's with Serpents by Design. We'll show you guys uh, a little card here. And, uh, and Jay Gonzalez, a good friend. Of mine. Right, and Jay Gonzalez is a good friend of his. So he's um, really the guy behind these animals specifically. But Servants by Design, Dominic has a bunch of really cool animals. He um, is a friend of ours. He has some really awesome, like 
fun animals as well, not just stuff that he sells, and it's just a really good guy and really fun stuff to see. So it's awesome seeing him here at the show. Um, we're far from home and we get yeah. to see friends, it's yeah. like really fun. I was surprised when you walked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know that face. Yeah, yeah. I'm 700 miles from home. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But thank you so yeah, much, I really appreciate it. it. Thank, you. thank you guys, this is super cool.